Donald Trump is going to win. He's going to win the president. He's going to win it. He's going to win the presidency. You're going to be scared. He's going to win. You're going to be scared and frightened. You're going to be scared. You're going to be shaking like Trump, this. Trump, Trump, going Trump, Trump. You're going to be scared. You're going to win. You're going to be scared and frightened. The suspension of moral prohibitions is the crucial feature, I claim, of today's so-called so -called postmodern nationalism. This suspension, this nothing is forbidden, you can do what you want, this is what in psychoanalysis is called Iberich, superego. The cliché according to which passionate ethnic identification restores a firm set of values and beliefs in the confusing insecurity of a modern, secular, global society, this usual cliché, you know, we lack basic coordinates, so we sometimes, uh, uh, we sometimes uh, uh, fall victim to the fundamentalist temptation, take refuge in old, stable values, and so on. I think, on the contrary, we should turn around this. Nationalist fundamentalism rather serves as the operator of a secret, barely concealed, you may. You may violate the stiff regulations of the peaceful coexistence in a liberal, tolerant society. You may drink and eat whatever you want, engage in patriarchal customs prohibited by liberal political correctness. You may, you may hate, fight, kill, rape. Without the full recognition of this perverse, pseudo-liberating effect of today's nationalism, Without the full recognition of how the obscene, permissive superego supplements the explicit texture of social symbolic law, we condemn ourselves to the failure of grasping the true dynamics of so-called ethnic nationalism. If you read an excellent text by Adorno from late 30s uh, on the psychological structure of fascist propaganda, Adorno already made this point in an implicit critique of Wilhelm Reich, who followed this line, which I think I agree here with Adorno, it's totally wrong. The line of the Nazi authoritarian personality is a consequence or follows to the end the line of patriarchal family. Adorno emphasizes that the so-called totalitarian personality is absolutely not a personality subordinated to patriarchal authority. With so-called totalitarian leader, Hitler, for example, we get a leader who is not a father figure. It's a leader, Adorno already got this, who, uh, how should put it, plays on something which in today's Sprache theory we would have called pragmatic contradiction. The very way he, between the lines, uh, addresses you, the very way he calls you to do your duty, to do, subverts the explicit message. The explicit message is what? Something like, uh, for example, of Hitler in the early 30s, enough of Weimar corruption, decadence, time to sacrifice, to think about your country, sacrifice, work, and so on and so on. But the message between the lines is obey and we will have some fun, kill some Jews and so on and so on. Without this, how to put it, obscene superego bribery, it doesn't function. And I think this is how we should learn to read even today's ideology.